Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to take a look at what's on my Windows Phone 7 device. It actually just booted up, and that's why you saw that. Uh, but I have this Samsung Focus I've been using for a while. I'm actually considering getting a new Windows Phone for reviews. Uh, I'm not sure which one I want to get yet. Maybe the Lumia 800 or the HTC Titan or even the Focus S. Out of the two, I, I'm really leaning towards the Titan or the Lumia 800 when it comes stateside or perhaps... I'll be purchasing it from overseas in some time. But if you guys have any comments about that, please go ahead and uh, place those in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's on my Windows phone. A lot of you have requested I do this video, so let's go ahead and take a look. Now this wallpaper, a lot of you ask, where do I get the wallpapers? Well, let's go ahead and unlock the phone. And I get the wallpapers from two places, just from apps I found in the marketplace, from backgrounds or from Wallpapers HD. I'm not sure which one they're from, uh, but either one has great wallpapers. I tend to lean towards Wallpapers HD, but they both have great wallpapers and I'm not sure where that one is from. So as you can see, I have the default things set up kind of prominently on the, on the main screen here as far as hubs go. Uh, I have my messaging hub, my people hub, my phone for making phone calls, this is the weather app from the Weather Channel. Great weather app, real simple, and has a great live tile. It flips between the actual temperature and the map. So you can see Syracuse, New York's right here in the middle. It shows we've got some rainfall, and I guess it's supposed to turn into snow here pretty soon. So you've got that. We've got music and video, or the, or the Zoom Hub, whatever you want to call it. My inbox is right here, and let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. So here I have the Bible app, just like I do on my iPhone and iPad. Uh, some of you have commented. Uh, I use it, you know, could be whatever you want it to be, but that's what I use. Uh, great newsreader app right next to it that I use a lot. Now, most of the apps on my home screen are something I'm going to be using a lot. Uh, the live tiles, I tend to use uh, things that gather information for me the most. So here is Fuse. Now, the actual app maker of Fuse commented on my video from before. I'm not sure which one specifically but was pretty happy to see it here and I have to say uh, it's a great app I bought it I thought it was a great app it's a newsreader and you can see it looks real similar to pulse but you can change that in the app preferences here this is just some some uh, RSS feeds I've got here and gadget Mac rumors Apple Insider joystick Kotaku 9 to 5 Mac boy genius report and I tend to add a lot in fact I normally have Windows mobile power user also I'll add those later but I've been messing around with it a little bit so you can see it has ribbon square uh, square is kind of a neat neat look for it oops oh, that's the marketplace let's go back into fuse here there we go I'll let it load and it does a great job of getting news feeds and things like that real similar to pulse although I don't know I, I tend to like this one better I don't know why I just do I, I like that I can switch it up a little bit change what it looks like set up folders the way I want them I know you can do some of that on the other newsreader as well but you can see this has live tiles within the app as well I just like it it's a great little app so uh, good job now let's go ahead down here we have pictures Internet Explorer Xbox Live uh, Craigslist I actually just added this I, I use Craigslist a lot and eBay you'll see here and I use those two quite a bit and I tend to use eBay more great app I uh, wish it had a little more live tile stuff going on but it's great Craigslist deluxe light works well as well uh, but I use both of those and here you can see USA Today. Now that's actually a recommendation from someone else when I did an in-depth overview of the live tiles. Uh, they actually suggested I take a look at that one and for sure they were right. It's got a great live tile. It's telling the temperature. It'll flip between news stories. Great little live tile they have going on there. Here you can see I don't have much else going on. I have Local Scout and me, uh, and that's about it. So before we go and look at the apps over to the right here, let's go into the Xbox Live Hub, and you can see some of the games I have going on here. Now, I don't play a lot of games on my Windows phone. For whatever reason, I just don't, uh, although I have played a few, like Lilo Milo. In fact, that came with the HTC Surround for free when I had that phone before, and so it's free for me to download again. So a lot of these are free. Flowers, Fusion, Sentient, 
Uh, Lilo Milo, Minesweeper, classic Microsoft game. Shuffle Party, something I tried out. Xbox Companion, uh, very neat. It's kind of like a remote control for your Xbox, so they pair together. It allows you to quickly go between things, uh, use the keyboard more more quickly, things like that. It's pretty nice. And then Quadrata, I haven't really tried it. It's just there. But let's go over here. You can see uh, Big Z is my, my name on Xbox Live. I've talked to a couple of you on there. Uh, I'm happy to talk while I'm in a party. Uh, just join in, and I'll be happy to talk to you about whatever we're, we're playing or whatever. And uh, was playing with a uh, good friend, Bo Watson, the other day. Uh, his name is Lil Watt. We were playing uh, my brother, M Star 11 So any of us, we can you can join in, good stuff, and uh, play on uh, Xbox. So let's go and take a look at the apps, though, more in depth. So we'll go over here. And like many of you, uh, I don't really... Uh, have a well I shouldn't say like many of you I was going to say like many of you I have an Amazon Kindle app in fact I use the Kindle app across all of the different phones because Amazon was thoughtful or smart enough or nice enough to include it across all these different platforms so we have the Kindle app and if we need to look at a book or or a book across the iPad the iPhone Windows Phone 7, Android, I can quickly do that between any of them. So good stuff as far as that goes. Amazon Mobile, another good app I use to check prices of things. So if I'm in the store looking at something, uh, say I'm looking at a new a, a new hard drive or whatever, I can go on and look what the price is on Amazon or online. In fact, Windows Phone has a pretty good search feature for that built in, but I also check Amazon as well. You can see default things, calculator, calendar, camera, Craigslist, like it's on the home page, eBay, Engadget. Uh, you know, Fuse pretty much covers what Engadget does anyway, so I don't really need that so much. But it's there. It's a nice app, and I took a look at it. There's Help Plus How To, Home Depot. I, I put Home Depot on there to kind of see what they had. You know, I really don't need it. Uh, and let's uninstall it. But it's a good app. It's just not something I use. Uh, Insider is something I've, I've used a little bit, uh, not too much, if it would load here. You know, it's, it's a Windows Phone thing where they'll, you know, give you some more information. Uh, it's good for ringtones. If you want ringtones, you can easily dump them into the phone. It's a Microsoft product and uh, a good app. Let's go into... Uh, where is it? No, I guess we were at Insider. Internet Explorer, my inbox is like everybody has for email uh, maps marketplace messaging metro tube uh, was recommended by some people good app in fact uh, metro tube is no longer going to be making the app they've they've said they're not going to make it anymore it's unfortunate it was a good app but apparently they weren't able to get the quality they wanted through the api's that youtube had available so that's unfortunate they're not able to get the quality and we as users suffer from that but uh, for now, we'll have to use the Microsoft-made YouTube app. If we go down to music and videos, Netflix. I use Netflix all the time. In fact, I probably use it on the Xbox the most. Uh, Xbox, Apple TV, uh, but Netflix is there. It works great on the new uh, Xbox dashboard, so I really like it there. use Netflix quite a lot. Uh, Office. You know, a lot of people give me flack for not mentioning Office, and that's probably because... In what I do, uh, both, well, professionally, I, I do use Office. But as far as doing videos here and things like that and what I do on my phone, I don't tend to use Office. But I did start to use OneNote quite a bit. And uh, you can see uh, there's things here, uh, documents, some things I've made, um, FedEx, things I send back and forth. Uh, as far as products go. I don't use Office a whole lot, but for those who need it, it's fantastic and does all you really need to do on a mobile device. So it is a great app. I'm not going to uninstall it. In fact, I don't even think I can uninstall it. No, I can't. Uh, but it's a great application, and uh, I use it. As you can see, I mentioned Pulse before. I do have it here, but I don't use it really. Uh, I use Fuse. Either one is good, but uh, I tend to like Fuse better, like I said. 
SkyDrive. SkyDrive is Microsoft storage solution. I believe they give you 20 or 25 gigabytes free and you just sign in with your account and you've got all this storage. It's a great application and worth checking out. It's similar to a Dropbox, but it's provided by Microsoft and you get an awful lot more storage when it comes to SkyDrive. You're probably already familiar with SkyDrive storage, at least in taking pictures and things. You have the option to send your content up to the storage or up to the cloud. Stopwatch, you know, I used this the other day. Uh, I actually downloaded it really quickly and used it the other day for... Uh, I think I was making some dessert or something, some cookies or holiday cookies or Christmas cookies or whatever, and uh, installed that. I needed something to keep track of time of what I was doing. So uh, it seemed to work well, and it was free. Uh, and I just got an email there. Uh, Travelocity is Travelocity. Helps you find cheap flights, things like that. I was thinking of going to CES this year, and... Uh, I'm not sure that I'll be able to go, but was checking flight prices, and, and that comes in handy. Twitter, you know, I don't use Twitter so much. It's built into the phone, not something I really use, but it's there, and it's worth getting if you're going to use it a lot. Since it's pretty much built into the, the People Hub or the Me Hub, I use it there. But it's here if I needed to go do anything else with it. USA Today, again, I mentioned before. Wallpaper Daily, I think this is from Microsoft. It's basically a wallpaper daily. It loads really fast, as you can see. And they've got some neat wallpapers, and you can save. Simple app, but it is what it says. And finally, Weather and YouTube. So those are pretty obvious. I don't have a whole lot on here uh, other than, well, I don't have anything on there other than that. Uh, but I'd love to hear some of your suggestions, and, and maybe as far as productivity or utilities, or maybe even games that you like a lot. I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments below as far as that goes. I'm always trying new games, uh, trying new applications. You know, if there's a better newsreader out there, in your opinion, uh, between Fuse and Pulse, uh, I'd like to hear if there's one you think's better, and, and let me know why. I'd love to check it out. I'll, I'll download the trial. One of the great things about Windows Phone is just about every application has a trial, and you can try them out before you buy them. So, as always, uh, please leave your comments below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please go ahead and do that. I'd always appreciate that. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.